Here we are in vlog 64, which marks the end of our month in the Rocklands. I'm actually all alone right now because Josh went to Europe to coach at some World Cups and trainings in between. Our month here has been amazing, which we were expecting, but we didn't really have an idea of how things work around with rest days and how the sectors are all set up around. So in this vlog we propose to show you everything about the Rocklands and not only climbing. First of all, probably after a very long journey, you land in Cape Town, which is a city right on the coast with the table mountain above it. After you hopefully get all your check-in bags, go to your rental car. In South Africa, we drive on the left. After about two and a half hours of driving, you get to a town called Clan William. And from there, you go over the pass. And if by chance you arrive by this, it's gonna be the first surprise and the first thing you see about the Rocklands. Once you go over the pass, you see a big valley in front of you, surrounded by a couple hills. Now let's talk about lodging. There are plenty of options, but let's say there are a few of them that are more famous within the climbing community. We have the zone where the Depakwis campground is, with the hen house and other cabins and little houses you can rent. Then if you keep going, you have a left turn for Deport and Klein Fountain. If you keep on going for a few more kilometers, you arrive at the Traveler Rest. The good thing with Traveler's Rest and the Hen House is that they also offer foods pretty much every day, but the Monday for the Hen House. As far as commodities, when you head to Klein William from groceries, you can also load up on fuel because there is two gas stations and most likely you'll get your windshield clean as well. Rest days. If you stay in the Rocklands area, you will have some waterfalls, some lakes to swim in. If you drive back to Klein William, you can take a tea at the Roe Bus house. I'm having coffee at a tea house. You can buy some shoes in Klein William as well. There's a very old factory that sells some very cool looking shoes that are all handmade. Our super favorite rest day activity, Lambert's Bay, which has wonderful beaches, gorgeous sunset, and the best all-you-can-eat seafood as you saw in one of our previous vlogs. On the same road, you can also check out some dunes. We are in the back of a truck, heading to the dunes, just by chance. <laughs> Charlotte, where are we, dude? <laughs> That was a very good surprise. We got there pretty into our trip, but if you get the chance, go there, it's totally worth it. Rocklands is so famous because as it is in the South Hemisphere during July and August, it's the winter there, so it's the best time to go there. To be honest, we indeed got some winter. We also got some weird rainy weather. We got a lot of wind and we also got summer in the last days. You know, it's going up and down and overall uh, within the different sectors you can easily find somewhere to climb every day. So even when you are in the Rocklands, overall be ready to drive even on dirt roads or very low bridges. Don't forget to get your permit that you can find pretty much at every lodging and keep in mind that there are areas that require an extra fee to access the land. Is there a guidebook for the Rocklands? Of course, it's a 480 pages guidebook. It has tons of boulders. I'd say your best bet to find it is to buy it at the Traveler's Rest when you get into the Rocklands. We spend most of the time in two main zones. The first one is the pass, where when you park, you get to hike for about 30 minutes at least, and you get to a lot of different sectors. The one we climbed the most were Roadside, Road Crew, and the Fortress. The second zone we spend the most time is around the Depakis campground where there are tons of very beautiful boulders and that time the hike is no longer than 15 minutes.
We obviously checked out other sectors, uh, which are favorites, where the realm, the coop, the sassies, and the tea garden. As part of our awardless travel world tour, South Africa was very particular. I was just dream to come here in the Rocklands to Boulder. So that's why we put one month of bouldering in the calendar um, just to climb the classics and boulders we've seen videos and pictures of. And that what we did, we had a very good time, a very good trip, and we have a lot of boulders left behind us that we didn't send, so it seemed that we're gonna have to come back. I have a week until Josh comes back, so as you'll see in the next vlog, I'll climb two more days in the Rocklands, and then I'm gonna spend a few days in Cape Town sightseeing and seeing other stuff. <laughs>